Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to run any app in the background. So, pretty much, you're going to be able to, let's say you're playing a game, but you even if you pause it, you can't come back to it, something like that, along the lines of that. And um, you can run it in the background, which is really cool. Um, or even if you're scrolling through Craigslist or something, and you don't want to load it up again, so you run it in the background. Now this is really simple to do. You can download two packages from Cydia that you don't have to add sources for, and they are called Backgrounder, which you can see here on my springboard, and Kier Kai. I think that's how you say it. Correct me if I'm wrong. Make fun of me. Whatever. And you're just going to have to download those two things, and they'll be on your springboard, just be Springer or whatever, and I will show you the best settings for them. Now, if you go into Backgrounder, I find the best settings are, if you go into Control, Power Button. So I, I choose this one because you all you have to do is press and hold until notification appears. So now I'm going to show you how to run in the background. Let's say I want to run Scanner 911 in the background. Open up Scanner 911, and since I have mine set to Power Button, all I would do is hold down the power button, like so. Right now I'm holding it down. It said it will say background enabled, and it will close. Also, it has a little badge in the corner besides Scanner 911 showing that it's opening up in the background. So when I go to open it up again, it will open right away. Well, it should. Man, that was a really bad example. Oh, man. Okay, I can do it with... Craigslist. <laughs> oh man, not my greatest video, obviously. Not working too good. Oh well. So if you haven't already, please rate, comment, subscribe. Please rate five stars. That would be nice. So again, hold your power button down. It'll say background enabled, and it'll close. When you go to open it again, it'll open right up. See, this was a good example. It'll open right up, and you can do whatever you want. Now the reason I downloaded Kier K or whatever, don't make fun of me. Well, make fun of me. I would if I was you. The reason I add Kier K, so if you open it up, it's pretty much the same as Backgrounder, except when you go into Control, you can open it up by just holding the Home button. So if you do it like me, hold down the Home button, it'll pop up like this, and it'll show you all the apps that you have running in the background. So you can easily close them like I did. I'm closing Craig's iPhone right now, and I just closed Scanner 911. Really cool. I think this is awesome. I use it a lot, especially when I'm downloading things from Installers or playing games that don't save automatically, so I just run them in the background. Really simple. Download from Cydia, change up the backgrounder thing, the backgrounder controls, because I think th those are my favorite settings. I'm pretty sure there's another one where you hold down the home button and for Kier EK you can just double tap home or something. I just like these ones better. It's up to you. And also, when I had mine running in the background, I had a little badge beside them. And to do that, I think you go no. Not in there. Badge right here. You just go into global then badge and you can turn it on or off and you can include mail and iPod but usually mail and iPod always run in the background well most of the time so I would never include those or else you'll have a badge on them all the time which is a waste so yeah recap again I've recapped a lot already but I'll do it again download those two things change up the settings add a badge if you want to or not and yeah so rate, comment, subscribe and I will see you in the next video.